Welcome back to the Lost Cause Ranch. I'm Joe, and that's right, today it's shop tour time. A few of you guys have been asking, where does all that Land Rover magic happen? Well, today you're gonna find out. All right, we're gonna start with the front door. Good place to start right here. This goes right inside to the offices. And look at that, big shocker there. Right as you walk in, we have a Land Rover. We got that guy tucked in real quick for the snow. We're in Iowa. This one's pretty nice. We'll keep her indoors. Normally, we stick it in this area here, but we figured just straight in from the doors would be a tad bit easier if we want to leave. No jockeying around. So in the office up here, we have our little lounge area. We got chairs and table over here. Over yonder, we have the Porsche lounge with some comfy chairs, some TV action. This was a pretty nice setup back when we did customer work. If you didn't watch that video, we no longer do service work. We're back on our own stuff, just the Land Rovers. Back in the day, a few months ago, this is where our customers would hang out. We have our Griot's garage set up there. We are a dealer for them. Over here, we got the Lost Cause Ranch hats, all those goodies, couple different colors. And speaking of goodies, Look at this shirt, Land Rovers only. You know that's what we're all about. We got the Lost Cause Ranch tag. We're almost at 5,000 subscribers, guys. I really appreciate that. We're 300 away. At 5,000, we'll give one of these away. All you gotta be is subscribe. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are not. Get your chance to get yourself a free t-shirt. On the other side of the Santana, we got the offices. Up in the corner office right here, we have Ted doing all his important things. Me, I'm stuck here in the back. Look at that, that's where all the magic happens. And back over here we got customer restroom. Back in this corner is just another little extra room. We used to have our refreshments and kitchen stuff back here. We moved that down below and I'll show you that later. But let's get down to the shop. Look at that color on the Santana, I love that. I know that's what you guys are all looking for, and here it is. How awesome is that? We have the perch. You get to see all the Land Rover goodies from up above. So this is technically, I think, the fourth location that the business has been in. Back 15 or so years ago, started in mom and dad's basement, as you do. And then when I outgrew that, Ted had a detached two-car garage at his house. We started building stuff out of there. That lasted for a couple years. Then we made the transition to renting our first actual location. That was a good little 2,500 square foot place and did us well for, I don't know, five years or so. And then we stepped up to purchasing this guy seven years ago. This is a 4,500 square foot facility. We got. 3,500 on the floor print and another thousand up there in the office. So since we quit doing service, we kind of rearranged stuff a little bit. Back in this corner used to be the dedicated wash bay. Now it's the dedicated defender bay. We have the LS3 defender, another defender. These are the fun ones in the corner. We got the LS3 Defender, we got the G4 Challenge, and we got another Defender getting another LS. But back to our little wash setup. It's kind of crammed in the corner right now, but we got a Mighty M electric pressure washer. That thing's pretty sweet. Auto start and stop, just pull the trigger and go. We got our little wall here with our hoses and whatnot. We have hot and cold water, hot and cold, to a hose. Then we also have another cold water with a bucket fill. Filter going in, we have deionizer, pressure washer reel, air hose reel. Pressure washer is plumbed for hot and cold. That was kind of my dream setup. We set that up last year. Up above there, let's pop those on. And I, it's hard to look at, but we also got some detailing lights up there. Those are some high bay lights. Those were great for the paint correction. Now it's great 
to see the tops of Land Rovers, I guess. This corner is a good little storage area. We got a mezzanine that keeps all our random junk upstairs. Some of our detail stuff got moved over here for the time being. Good old Nissan forklift, parts washer, oil, and some random extra parts. If any of you need some extra European replacement parts, let me know. I'd like to sell a whole pallet full. Tucked back here is our third bend pack, two post lift. We were in the process of swapping out our old ones for all bend packs, so that one matches these two. But being we quit doing service, that kind of got put on hold for the time being till we figure out how we want everything laid out. So we're just operating as you do. Up top, we got the big old mighty M2 stage compressor, more than enough air for us. And along back here, we have our toolboxes. Nothing too special. They are some Menards jobbers with the handles painted, because we fancy. Little teardown table that is currently holding fluid junk, but that's kind of cool. It's got a drain in there somewhere with a bucket underneath so you can tear apart heads or whatever and not get the fluid everywhere. Up top, we got all our chemicals and random stuff in there. These guys are pretty awesome. Some Sam's Club workbenches. We run quite a bit of those as you see. Some of the LS Defender extra bits, those will get tossed once that guy is 100% good to go. I'm not gonna start throwing stuff away until everything's 100%. Right there, another Defender in to get tore the rest of the way down. As you see, there ain't much left. So I don't have a whole lot of work ahead of me, but that'll go, Ted's on vacation, so. I'm stuck to just tearing stuff apart because we don't necessarily want me putting everything back together. And we got a little computer set up in the shop in case you need to look at like all data or anything on the interwebs, maybe even YouTube. And then we got our Ranger tire machines. This one does well, pretty slick little setup. Then next to those guys is an ARB bumper. No, is my favorite room in the house. This is the Defender chassis room. This is that LS3 Defender that we're going after. And this is where we have the welders, got the TIG back here, a couple MIGs, sweet little multi-tool, my favorite tool, coupled with this guy here. Back when Ted and I were doing more service stuff, we moved all the fab stuff to Ted's house and split it into a couple different locations. So some of that might move back now that we're just having fun with Land Rovers because we got a lathe, mill, a couple more welders, some other things, box and pan break. I don't remember everything that we got around. And then more fab stuff. We have a CNC plasma table, which let me show you where that's sitting. So as it turns out, I'm not actually that great with technology. Went over to the storage unit so I could take a video and show you guys the plasma and some of the other stuff we have laying around. But I messed up recording it. So instead I'm going to show you a picture of the plasma table. I was also going to show you the 69C10 that we have and Brothers Datsun 240Z, but another day. All right, we're now back in the shop after a little detour to the storage unit. Over here we have a Lotus Evora on the long-term hoist. That one needs a clutch. Is that something you guys want to see us do? We got to take the rear clamshell off to get to that. Now that that LS swap discovery is done, we have some Defender axles. Well, these are actually Discovery 1 axles that we're building up for the LS3 Defender. Those are getting chromoly shafts, locker, and whatnot, new brakes. Those will be all blown apart now. Pretty excited to get on that build. This one is the next one on the block that you guys get to see. In the middle underneath here, we got our little bathroom. Got the shitter, got the washer dryer, got some extra shelves, and got our detailing towels and whatnot, and a half assembled ceiling. We're still working on fixing that, but that fell on me one day when I opened the door. That was interesting. Then to the right of that and underneath the offices 
is our current little parts storage area. We have the AC machine. This is our LR4 shelf on one that we're tearing apart. We got the fender wheels and tires. We got the spare tire to the disco with the LS. We have some LR3 tires. We got random stuff everywhere. More discovery parts. This is the suspension for the LS3 Defender. Got the brakes there for it. We always keep a set of head gaskets and studs for 4.0s and 4.6s in stock because those never go bad. Some tall skinnies for the 95 Classic. Some random Porsche box. Some t-shirts, more tires, more parts, and more parts and fluid back here. And the break room. Now this is just our pizza oven. Our fridge stocked with water, ketchup, beer, pizzas, overly priced Mercedes timing cover, and no speed limit. Have any of you guys used the Harbor Freight gantry cranes? Think about picking one of those up. Might be useful back in this corner, tearing the bodies off those. Um, but it's Harbor Freight, just not sure about the quality and lifting stuff. Maybe you just don't stand under it. I don't know. So that concludes the quick and dirty tour of the Lost Cause Ranch shop and some of our Land Rovers. Don't forget, if you want to get yourself one of these t-shirts for free, make sure you are subscribed. Once we hit 5,000 subscribers, we will pick one of you lucky winners to get yourself a free t-shirt. With that being said, appreciate you guys watching. And for those of you who did not see it, I'm gonna toss up the video of why we closed the service department down. Hint, it's so we can play with these. One more exciting thing no one tells you about being a commercial property owner, especially on a busy street. That right there is a box of rocks. Those are a box of rocks we collected from kids or someone throwing at the billboard into our lot and on our roof. Why?